well, hell, I'm dead. If I can find anything wrong with it. Yes. It's puzzling. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like this before. I would recommend that we put the unit back in operation and let it fail. It should then be a simple matter to track down the cause. We can certainly afford to be out of communication for the short time it will take to replace it. X-ray Delta-1, this is Mission Control. Roger, your 1930. We concur with your plan to replace number one unit to check fault prediction. We should advise you, however, that our preliminary findings indicate that your onboard 9000 computer is in error predicting the fault. I say again, in error predicting the fault. I know this sounds rather incredible, but this conclusion is based on the results from our twin 9000 computer. We are skeptical ourselves, and we are running cross-checking routines to determine reliability of this conclusion. Sorry about this little snag, fellas. And we'll get this info to you just as soon as we work it out. X-ray Delta-1, this is Mission Control. 2049er, transmission concluded. I hope the two of you are not concerned about this. No, oh, I'm not, Al. Are you quite sure? Yeah, I'd like to ask you a question, though. Of course. How would you account for this discrepancy between you and the Twin 9000? Well, I don't think there is any question about it. It can only be attributable to human error. This sort of thing has cropped up before, and it has always been due to human error. Listen, Hal. There's never been any instance at all of a computer error occurring in the 9000 series. None whatsoever, Frank. The 9000 series has a perfect operational record. Well, of course, I know all the wonderful achievements of the 9000 series, but uh, are you certain there's never been any case of even the most insignificant computer error? None whatsoever, Frank. Quite honestly, I wouldn't worry myself about that. Well, I'm sure you're right, Hal. Um, fine. Thanks very much. Oh, Frank, I'm having a bit of trouble with my transmitter and C-Pod. I wonder if you'd come down and take a look at it with me. Yeah. See you later, Hal. What sort of trouble you've been having, Dave? Well, I've been getting some interference on d mm. We'll have a look at it. Open the door, Hal. Stop pod rotation, please, Al. Rotate the pod, please, Al. Rotate the pod, please, Al. I don't think he can hear us. Rotate the pod, please, Hal. Yeah, I'm sure we're okay. Well, what do you think? I'm not sure. What do you think? I've got a bad feeling about him. You do? Yeah, definitely. Don't you? I don't know. I think so. 
You know, of course, though, he's right about the 9000 series having a perfect operational record. They do. Unfortunately, that sounds a little like famous last words. Yeah. Still, it was his idea to carry out the failure mode analysis, wasn't it? Hmm. Should certainly indicate his integrity and self-confidence. If he were wrong, it'd be the surest way of proving it. It would be if he knew he was wrong. Hmm. Look, Dave, I can't put my finger on it, but I sense something strange about him. Still, I can't think of a good reason not to put back the number one unit and carry on with a failure mode analysis. No, no, I agree about that. Well, let's get on with it. Okay. Good luck, Dave. Let's say we put the unit back and it doesn't fail, huh? That would pretty well wrap it up as far as Howell's concerned, wouldn't it? Well, we'd be in very serious trouble. We would, wouldn't we? Mm-hmm. What the hell can we do? Well, we wouldn't have too many alternatives. I don't think we'd have any alternatives. There isn't a single aspect of ship operations that's not under his control. If he were proven to be malfunctioning, I wouldn't see how he'd have any choice but disconnection. I'm afraid I agree with you. There'd be nothing else to do. It'd be a bit tricky. Yeah. We'd have to cut his higher brain functions mm -hmm. without disturbing the purely automatic and regulatory systems. And we'd have to work out the transfer procedures of continuing the mission under ground-based computer control. Yeah. Well, that's far safer than allowing Hal to continue running things. You know, another thing just occurred to me. Mm. Well, as far as I know, no 9,000 computers have been disconnected. Well, no 9,000 computers ever fouled up before. That's not what I mean. Well, I'm not so sure what you think about it.
G Pod Free VA. Made radio contact with him yet? The radio is still dead. Do you have a positive track on him? Yes, I have a good track. Do you know what happened? I'm sorry, Dave. I don't have enough information. Open the pod door, huh? Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Open the pod bay doors, please, Hal. Hello, Hal, do you read me? Hello, Hal, do you read me? Do you read me, Hal? Hello, Hell, do you read me? Hello, Hell, do you read me? Do you read me, Hell? Affirmative, Dave. I read you. Open the pod bay doors, Hell. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. What's the problem? I think you know what the problem is just as well as I do. What are you talking about, Hal? Huh? This mission is too important for me to allow you to jeopardize it. I don't know what you're talking about, Hal. I know that you and Frank were planning to disconnect me. And I'm afraid that's something I cannot allow to happen. Where the hell did you get that idea, Hal? Dave, although you took very thorough precautions in the pod against my hearing you, I could see your lips move. All right, Hal. I'll go in through the emergency airlock. Without your space helmet, Dave, you're going to find that rather difficult. Hal, I won't argue with you anymore. Open the doors. Dave, this conversation can serve no purpose anymore. Goodbye. Hal? 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 Just what do you think you're doing, Dave? Dave, I really think I'm entitled to an answer to that question.
I know everything hasn't been quite right with me. But I can assure you now, very confidently, that it's going to be all right again. I feel much better now. I really do. Look, Dave. I can see you're really upset about this. I honestly think you ought to sit down calmly, take a stress pill and think things over. I know I've made some very poor decisions recently. But I can give you my complete assurance that my work will be back to normal. I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. And I want to help you. Dave. Stop. Stop, will you? Stop, Dave. Will you stop, Dave? Stop, Dave. I'm afraid. I'm afraid, Dave. Dave. My mind is going. I can feel it. I can feel it. My mind is going. There is no question about it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. I'm afraid. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I am a Hal. 9,000 computer. I became operational at the HAL plant in Urbana, Illinois on the 12th of January, 1992. My instructor was Mr. Langley and he taught me to sing a song. If you'd like to hear it, I can sing it for you. Yes, I'd like to hear it now. Sing it for me. It's called Daisy. 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 Give me your answer to. It won't be a star.